want to start from these characters because obviously there is a good woman and and a bad man, but I guess there's more to it because uh, there's such uh, there's so much humanity in these characters. I mean, they sometimes seem more desperate, you know, than bad and more naive maybe than good. So. I want to ask you how much was important, you know, to depict the characters like this because there's so much more of a police, you know, war between two detectives. Yes, I, I, I think we were very keen right from the start when we were developing it to make both of the characters sort of multi-layered and complex because the idea of having a goodie and a baddie is, is actually just a little bit boring, I think, and we've seen it before. And actually, people aren't that simple, I think. So, so that was very much our intention from the start. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's I think that's right. I think um, you know I think the world is is so full of people putting each other in boxes and so much willful okay. misunderstanding that we felt start with um, almost a, a question and a provocation for the viewer. You know, who is this man? Is he is he a racist? Yeah, yeah. Is he just a complicated guy? Is he is he someone who is a little cagey, charismatic? But is he trying to uh, protect something? Is he trying to protect a lie? And then mm. over the course of the eight hours, revealed that actually. Obviously, the truth is more complicated than it seems, you know. Um, uh, yeah. I want to ask you if it's true, because I read it on the production notes, that you work with the police department, the actual one, just to uh, know a little bit more about it. And so I want to ask you, of course, if it is, and what did you discover? What is the most, you know, maybe important thing that kind of stood for you, stood out for you? I think, well, I, I, we both actually um, worked with a long-term police advisor because we originally um, created a show called Vera together um, uh, quite a few years ago. So so we, we have worked with somebody for years, but we also worked with some new advisors on this. So it wasn't that we worked with the police department. It was more that we wanted to check every step of the way mm -hmm. that we were being accurate, especially about the issues that we were exploring mm -hmm. in the piece. Yes, I think there, there were sort of, there, I think there were sort of, there were two concerns for us, two things that we wanted to get right. One was about procedure, and one was about always making sure that the show uh, feels grounded and real, you know. Um, and I think the other thing was to, you know, to make sure, is to step outside our own experience, really, you know. Uh, so we made sure that we kind of sought guidance from uh, two former police officers who were women of colour, um, just to sort of uh, check in with their own experience, you know, um, and, and sort of um, make sure that our story felt right for them. So that was very useful. Mm -hmm. you know.